Wim A X I T or Wimasit. I probably butcher that. So this is a USB-C portable display. They have sent me this as a product sample for me to showcase to you guys. And it is a USB-C portable display. So it has a 14 inch screen, IPS panel, high definition, USB-C, HD, and power delivery. So it kind of ticks all the boxes for being a portable display. And the specific model number is M1400CT. And also the company, perhaps like the subsidiary or sister company is Andycine, A-N-D-Y-C-I-N-E.com. And I understand they actually make uh, screens for camera and photography, whereas this one, this brand is for the portable screen. So here on the side, we seem to have a charging brick. It is a charging brick for USB-A type and it is 10 watt. So it is not providing that much power, perhaps doesn't require as much power. And we got a bunch of cables underneath, cleaning cloth, more cables and some paperwork. So let's go through these cables first. This one is USB-C to USB-C cable. So that is going to be the main connection to the computer and providing power as well as the display at the same time. And then this one is USB-A to USB-C port. So if you just need power, I guess you can use that. And with that, you have to connect display somehow. And in that case, it will be HDMI ports, full size HDMI on one side. And then this is mini HDMI. Mini is better than micro HDMI, but yeah, it is not gonna be the full size I understand on this screen. So upon the first glance, it's fairly light and which is really good for being portable. You don't want something heavy as your portable device. And it has this sort of soft cover. This reminds me of like the iPad soft cover. And let's see how I open this. I don't know how to use like the iPad cover for the stand. So bear with me for a moment. Adjust your angle that way. Oh, there is a little film here. It is a nice looking screen. So it has a logo on the front, Wimaxit, and it is seeming to have a very thin bezel as well. And on the back side, there's not much, but it does seem to have some notes for what those ports are. So on this side, you got HD, I'm assuming that is HDMI port, uh, mini HDMI, and it just denotes as HD. And then type C number two, type C number one, OTG. So I'm assuming that is a power on the go. It is a micro USB and then on the other side there is a power button with the menu which is sort of the clickable button as well as you can just put it up and down for changing the volume or navigating through menu I suppose and then there's a headphone jack and as I have mentioned at the feet there is two rubber feet and Apparently, you can completely detach the cover. It's got good magnetic and the finish is nice. So it just kind of snaps onto itself. It's really nice to have this sort of cover so that whenever you're traveling with this, you're not damaging the device. I really like the fact that they have included this cover. So let's go ahead and use this single cable and use my laptop to power it up as well as seeing the screen. So it's got one single cable that is about three feet and then connect to my one Thunderbolt port, USB-C port on the screen. And as soon as I connect, a blue screen shows up and then yeah, it is already duplicating my screen. I just heard a sound from the screen. I suppose it has a speaker. So let me go ahead and change the display settings so that it is extending the displays rather than duplicating. Okay, let me go ahead and play YouTube. That's probably the best way to either test the color or the sound that is coming out of it. Wait, it's actually touch screen too. Yeah, the color looks really good for screen like this. It's hard to expect a good color out of it, but at least from what I can see, 
it is seemingly quite good. I don't have a device to accurately measure it, but from what I can judge, perhaps it's not as bright as some of the screens that I have seen so far, but I'm sure I can make it slightly more brighter. I can actually go through the menu system, change the brightness. Let's see, it was at number two. At the max brightness, it is really bright too. For 14 inch having 1080p, it is more than enough pixel and resolution. So that is good and I'm really surprised that this actually has touch screen. Yeah, very nice and it's got very thin bezel all around. Nothing dominating, it does have a logo at the bottom. Overall, the speaker sounds really good too. I don't know about heavy bass music perhaps. Let's actually test that. Let me test some music. Perhaps not like the really killer speaker here, but I think it would be fine for its purpose. So this was my short unboxing and quick testing of this screen that Wimexit have sent me. Thank you for sending me this device to test it out. If you were trying to expand your remote setup by actually putting this on your dining table along with your laptop so you have two screens instead of just a single screen of your laptop, then this would definitely be a perfect solution for that. And the fact that it is touch screen, you can reach out just like how you do to your laptop. I hope this was useful for you if you were looking for this sort of device. If it did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for contents like this. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.